So what is going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome to your 24th Angular tutorial in which we're going to take a look at what ViewChild is and uh, how we can make use of it to get a reference to an element inside the DOM and uh, probably read some of its value in a nice little way. So what I'm going to do is actually inside our app component or rather this HTML file, let's just create an input um something like input type text and uh, yep that is it and let's just say you want to send the user value to the server every minute right kind of like saving the value if you're creating some sort of block system or something like that now sure there will be some other ways to achieve that but the dirtiest way i can think of right now is just setting a timer of set interval and then checking it every minute and uh, sending the updated text to the server irrespective of what user has done so we can implement that and to do that what we need is actually a reference to this element right here somehow in our method so our method right here inside this component would probably look like send to server and then we would magically somehow get the data of the user from something like that and then we would just send this to um, server using the HTTP module which we're gonna take a look later on so how do we first in first place get this data well we can actually reference add a reference to this by making use of a half symbol uh, let's just say my input file or my input text like that and then what you can do is inside your app component you can actually write something like at the rate view child and then my input text and then the variable with which you want to reference it so I would just say uh, input text okay and then you can finally just import it from the core and that is it pretty much now what happens with this is that you actually create a reference to this particular element with this my input text as a local variable a local template variable and then we can access it using the input text field or the property of this class so we can say something like this dot input text dot native element and if we just console dot log data dot value right here to see what's happening then we should see the value of the data so finally what I can do which would be not the best practice inside constructor I'm gonna create a set interval which just fires send this dot send to server every two seconds like that you can do this as an ng on in it as well if you want to and we can just move it at the top for the sake of clarity okay so now if we take a look in the browser inside console we get some errors and the reason probably is because this is undefined so we are actually losing context of this so what we can do is instead of doing something like this we should probably fire this as a fat arrow function so that uh, we can see and obviously we want to call that as well so now if we take a look then we get a blank value and let's just write something like hello world there so you can see that we are getting our value every two seconds and actually you should not be placing this in constructor but after the view is ready but since we are waiting for two seconds it automatically kind of gets the view ready by that time but we'll take a look at the life cycle of a component later on for now this thing works and that is how pretty much you would get a reference to a very simple element like an input type text and access it using that reference in your methods right so that is all for this tutorial and if you liked it then please don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching i'll see you then in the next one